Hello everyone on this video, you can see how to install Ventoe on your pen drive and how to uninstall Ventoe from your pen drive. This video is very old video, this is my old channel video enjoy. How to create a multiboot USB drive, HDD or SSD using Ventoe. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Ventoe is an open source tool to create a bootable USB drive for ISO, WIM, IMG, VHD, X. EFI files. With Vento, you don't need to format the disk over and over. You just need to copy the image files to the USB drive and boot it. You can copy many image files at a time, and Vento will give you a boot menu to select them. You can also browse supported files in the local disk and boot them. Legacy BIOS and UEFI are supported in the same way. Both MBR and GPT partition styles are supported in the same way. Most types of OS are supported, Windows, Linux and more. To create a multiboot USB drive, HDD or SSD using Vento, you will need a USB drive, HDD or SSD, the Vento application, and image files like operating system ISO files, such as Windows 10 ISO, etc. Now go to your browser of choice and search for Vento. Get to the official website ventoy.net and download the tool. Then extract the zip file. Insert the USB drive into the computer and open Ventoy to disk.exe. In the Ventoy to disk interface, under the device section, you can select the USB drive you want to install Ventoy on. Just know that your drive will be completely formatted. After selecting the USB drive, you can just click install and Ventoy will be installed on your USB drive. Now you can copy the ISO files to the Ventoy USB drive, and when you boot to the USB drive, you will get a menu with all the ISO files you copied there. To create a Ventoy hard drive HDD or SSD, if they are already connected to your PC, from the Ventoy to disk interface, click on option menu then click on show all devices. Then under the device section, you can select the HDD or SSD you want to install Ventoy on. Just know that your HDD or SSD will be completely formatted. By default, Ventoy will create the device with MBR partition style and XFAT file system, but you can change that from the option menu, then partition style and partition configuration. From here, you can also preserve space at the end of the disk. For example, if you're installing Ventoy on a 500 gigabyte disk, you can give Ventoy 150 gigabytes and preserve the rest for another partition you can use as data storage. Just know that you can also use the same Ventoy disk as data storage too, and Ventoy will automatically get all the supported files like ISO files in the Ventoy boot menu. And if you want, you can create a folder for ISO files, and another one for other usage like programs or etc. If you have a file like an ISO file you don't want it to show in the Ventoy boot menu, you can add a file with the name of .ventoyignore in that ISO file folder, and Ventoy will ignore it and will not show it in the Ventoy boot menu. Now anytime you want to install or try an operating system, just download the ISO file for that OS, and copy and paste it to the Ventoy drive. Then you can boot to Ventoy normally and install the OS or try it. It will work whether you are booted with legacy BIOS or UEFI, and that will be shown at the lower part of the screen in the Ventoy boot menu. Lastly, if you want to exit from the Ventoy boot menu, press C and the grub shell will open. Type reboot then hit enter, and the computer will restart, or type halt then hit enter, and the computer will shut down. Finally, if you want to update the Ventoy version, you just download the new version then open the tool. 
and choose the right device and click on update. Ventoy will respect that device's configurations, even if it says Ventoy in package X fat MBR. Ventoy and device NTFS GPT. It will respect the Ventoy and device configurations and not change any. How to uninstall Ventoy from USB drive, HDD, SSD. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Method 1. Delete all data and partitions using Ventoy. Open Ventoy to disk and under device. Ensure that the correct device you want to uninstall Ventoy from is selected. Then click on option and select clear Ventoy. After confirming by clicking yes, the device will be formatted and all data will be lost. Finally, format the USB drive, HDD or SSD, and it will return to its normal state. Method 2. Delete all data and partitions using disk part. Go to the start menu or search bar and search for CMD. Right click the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Then type disk part and hit enter. Next type list disk and hit enter. Identify the disk you want to clean. In my case, it's disk 2. Then type select disk 2 and hit enter. In my case, it's disk 2. For you, the number might be different. So make sure to choose the correct disk number. Then type clean and hit enter. This will delete all the data and partitions on the selected disk. Finally type exit and hit enter. Now go to the start menu or search bar and search for disk management. Identify the disk you just cleaned. It will be shown as unallocated. Right click on the unallocated space and choose new simple volume. Then click on next for times and finally finish. Note that you can change the volume label, the volume letter and the file system, etc. if you want to before clicking on next. Method 3. Delete specific partition. Let's say you have installed Ventoy on a drive and created a space at the end of that drive for data storage. And you want to only delete the VTOY EFI partition and the Ventoy partition while keeping the preserved partition at the end of that drive. Go to the start menu or search bar and search for CMD. Right click the command prompt and choose run as administrator. Then type disk part and hit enter. Next type, list disk and hit enter. Identify the disk you want to delete a partition from. In my case, it's disk 2. Then type, select disk 2 and hit enter. In my case, it's disk 2. For you, the number might be different, so make sure to choose the correct disk number. Then type, list partition and hit enter. Identify the partition or partitions you want to delete. In my case, it's partition 1, which is the Vento partition, and partition 2, which is the VTOY EFI partition. Then type, select partition 1 and hit enter. In my case, it's partition 1. For you, the number might be different, so make sure to choose the correct partition number. Then type, delete partition and hit enter. This will delete all the data on the selected partition. Now type, select partition 2 and hit enter. In my case, it's partition 2. For you, the number might be different, so make sure to choose the correct partition number. Then type, delete partition and hit enter. If you get a can't delete a protected partition error message, then type, delete partition override and hit enter. Finally type, exit, and hit enter. Now go to the start menu or search bar, and search for disk management. Identify the disk from which you just deleted the partition, it will be shown as unallocated. Right click on the unallocated space and choose new simple volume, then click on next for times, and finally finish. Note that you can change the volume label, the volume letter, and the file system, etc. if you want to, before clicking on next. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching. Consider and if you want subscribing. To install Atlas and don't forget OS to activate Windows the notification bell so you, you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching. Any new uploads. Thank you for watching.